You're not in Vegas, are you? Just checking. No. Did you Good go morning, and thank you for having me here. Are you in Vegas or are you remote? I, I, we are working remotely. So given the situation with Omnicom, we decided to keep the focus this year as we did last year remote, but we expect this to be a great show for us. As you share, we are announcing okay. 50 new yep. products, new technologies. So really a great show for us. Yeah, I want to get your take. Uh, something we talked about at the start of the show, there was a UBS note this morning downgrading the tech sector and they called out tech hardware as the most vulnerable. What is your outlook? Has demand been pulled forward over the last few years? We continue to see very strong demand for our products, both on the commercial side and on the consumer side. On the commercial side, as offices are starting to reopen and companies are equipping their employees to be able to continue to work on a hybrid way, it's a great opportunity for us. And on the consumer side, we continue to see very strong demand in categories like gaming on high-end computer devices. So we are really optimistic about the future of the PC business this year. We had a great 21 and we expect to continue to have a very strong 22. Yeah, we're certainly, we're talking a lot today about the future and next generation technologies. We had Qualcomm's Cristiano Amon, Amazon's David Limp on the show. Both companies are making big bets on auto tech as well as other next generation technologies like AR and VR. So I wonder, how are you, how is HP positioned uh, in the next areas of growth beyond PCs and printers and accessories? What is the opportunity for you in things like vehicles and headsets? In, we really see a lot of opportunity driven by what we call the hybrid way of working. Most of the companies have announced that they are gonna be allowing their employees to work both from home and from the office. And this really creates opportunities for us to create new products, new services, new experiences. And this is true both for personal systems, for what we call peripherals, which is a very broad category of all the accessories that you need to connect and to communicate. And it's also a great opportunity for printing where we are really driving a big transformation to a subscription model. So across the full portfolio of the company, we see opportunities to continue to grow in this new hybrid way, hybrid world. Yeah, Enrique, I wanted to talk to you about that specifically. I happen to subscribe to the HP, uh, you know, the, the ink program where you pay a monthly fee and you send new ink when you're running out. Pretty nice. But I'm wondering specifically about hybrid and how it might be changing the PC refresh cycle. It seems to me a lot of businesses would have low-end desktops in office for employees and kind of hand out laptops only occasionally. But now with both hybrid and the uncertainty of where people are going to be working from, I'm hearing more and more about companies feeling that they need to equip employees with laptops and with laptops that have decent cameras built in and therefore decent amounts of memory, perhaps some more storage. Is that happening uh, in the data? Is that durable? Is it changing the refresh cycle, do you think? So what we are seeing is very strong demand coming from the commercial side, from the office side, driven by the, by the factors that you were explaining. Companies are equipping their employees with new equipment to, so they can connect, work, collaborate, working both from the office and from home. And this has also driven a shift from desktops into laptops, which is also a, a good opportunity for us to continue to grow. We have seen, we saw in 21, a 40% increase of the volumes on the PC space. We think that this new level of demand is going to stay. And this is what we have been expecting and what we are seeing from the demand perspective.